welcome back to my significant channel and for this video it is another OJT vlog episode number five and it is all about common basic interview questions during my internship and sampu lang to mabilis lang to and disclaimer hindi ko alam kung tama yung mga sasabihin ko and we all know na we all learn from experience parang takeaways ko lang to mga ideas na to on how to answer these questions so might as well kumuha din kayo ng mga ideas dun talaga sa mga professional kasi when it comes to interviews like this I prefer to express my thoughts based on who I am and what is exactly I'm going to let them know about me so first question the most common one tell me about yourself so dito kasi sa part na to as I've said in my previous vlog you don't have to disclose all the information about you in just a sheet of paper kasi mauubusan ka ng bala during your interview moment. So, in this portion, pwede mo mas may pakilala yung sarili mo. What are your hobbies? What do you do most? What are your likes? Saan ka magaling? Ganun. And aside from all the things that you have achieved in your life, in your school, and even in your external community engagements, something like that, that could make sense and make something impact sa company na gusto mong pag-internshipan or pag-employihan. Second question is, why should we hire you? So, dito, make them believe that you are an asset of the company, that you can do a service, a certain job, a certain task without causing any problems to their end. Kasi, sobrang problematic mo namang tao kung ganun. Kaya, just make them believe that you are worth it. Third question is one of the few questions given to me during my internship. It is, in case of absenteeism, how will you handle it? So, I've answered this in a situational perspective. So, number one, I'm going to tell this to my termates if and only if we are having our internship in the same company or same department. And next, I will inform my supervisors or my workmates, the regular ones, that I will be absent due to whatever reason and most especially I will inform them ahead of time because they will always have these rules na you should inform them ahead of time few hours before your designated absent day ganun. you know communication is the key always in every environment fourth question is what is your edge among others so in this point you have to tell what are your unique points so you have to know your strength weaknesses strengths and opportunities ano yung mga bad na pwede nilang i-mold sa'yo. Are you that flexible enough to be teachable enough? Ganun. Fifth question is, where did you hear our company? So, dito, in-answer ko siya in the most honest and transparent answer. Like, sinabi ko sa social media and I've heard a lot of good testimonies about the previous interns you had and I know that you are able to handle every interns in the most graceful way and that will also creates benefits on our end. Something like that, na parang papagbanguhin mo yung pangalan ng company. Siyempre, hello. Pero, pwede din naman na to recommendation, words of mouth, to your relatives, friends, or employees, you know, a vlogger, social media, content creator, something like that, na parang na you are inspired, and parang you are convinced that, oh, this company sounds good. And six is, do you have any idea about our company? Okay, in the previous question, where did you hear our company? Now, what are your ideas, your thoughts about our company? Now, you have to know the abouts of that company. Hindi pa din, ay, gusto ko dun sa company na to. Bakit? Ano bang alam mo sa company namin? So, you need to have a background research about that company na parang ma-appreciate nila na, oh, this person really research about our company. He knows or she knows a gist of how we do our work or how we are taking care of ourselves doing our job explicitly. Seventh question would be why do you choose our company? Now, pwede ka magsabi dito ng comparison, Ganon. but it is not a safe answer. Maybe it's a good answer if you deliver it well. So, superb. Ganon. And na nagawan mo talaga ng paraan 
Masaguyan because you believe so. You believe in that company. You believe in their um, knowledge, skills, and expertise that could possibly provide you the most efficient knowledge and skills you need in your life for development of your character and in your career. Eighth question is what does customer service mean to you? So, nasa hospitality industry ka and you've already discussed this term since your first year. Dapat alam mo na kung bakit, di ba? Alam mo na kung paano to sagutin. To exceed the expectation of the guests, not just about providing what they need. Number nine, what is your expectation in the company that you will be deployed? Make it simple, timely, and reachable naman. Like gaining the knowledge, skills, and attitude, behavior, personality, character development that you will acquire outside the university because it's a real world. Iba talaga yung experience. You are after a new experience that will develop you as a person and a professional in the field you're going to take. Last but not the least, what skills do you acquire? Focus on your soft skills, your communication, your attitude, personality, behavior because sabi nga ng mga supervisors ko, all the hard skills can be learned throughout time. Pero yung soft skill kasi nasa yun na yan and lalabas yan sa'yo every single moment. So there you have it guys. Few questions lang yun. Sampu lang yun. At nakikipagtalo pa ako at nakikipagunahan sa mga manok. So sorry kung may narinig kayo mga manok. And it's very windy. Sobrang lakas ng hangin. And yung mga tahol ng mga aso ganyan. I hope I help you somehow, somehow John, banda banda. I hope you have an idea how to answer these questions. Common questions lang naman to in every interview. Sana makatulong. Again, kumuha pa din kayo ng mga ideas dun sa mga professional talaga na makakapagbigay sa inyo ng tamang advice on how to answer these questions because ako kasi when it comes to answering the interview questions, I make it like it comes from my heart. Sino ba talaga ako sa person? Ano ito talaga yung gusto kong ma-achieve? Kung bakit gusto kong makuha itong trabaho na ito? So there you have it guys. If you have any more clarifications and information you need to know, just comment it down and I'm willing to do a vlog again. Kahit hindi ko alam ko may sense. Paano may sense? Sana nakakulong ako. And please do like, share, and subscribe this vlog to your friends, family, classmate, or whatsoever na feeling nyo makakatulong sa kanila itong vlog na to. And that's it. Thank you for watching and have a significant day.